Hello everyone, give me a second or twelve to do a thing. A second or twelve. I'm 11 teen years old today. Now, just a disclaimer, tonight will not be as crazy as last night was. No, it will uh, not. And if you see us looking up, it's because we're looking at the, uh, the TV, not the camera. So it looks a little weird, so we're going to try to look at the camera more and less than the TV less, so it doesn't look like we're looking up. Um, Tonight we are opening a Shumi Toys, which is my first Shumi Toys, and a uh, Brian Polito Lady Death Universe mm. thing. Uh, the Shumi Toys, with the Shumi Toys, um, the big thing about Shumi Toys is you it's fifteen dollars and pay for shipping and everything. You get a pop. You can get a, of course, you know, you can either get a grill or a, a chase or a, you know, a, 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 a specialty series, all that. Normally, it's usually just a pretty normal pop. Now, the great thing about Shumi Toys is that that on top of the pop is usually a piece of paper. Now, if you get that piece of paper, you know you won. You read the paper, and it says, Winner, Winner, Chicken Dinner. Yeah, I know. We're 12. Uh, it says, Winner, Winner, Chicken Dinner. And it, what it does is um, it it's a set of something. So the sets that they're oh, giving away man. now is like uh, The Simpsons, um, Fortnite, uh, like, uh, WWE, all that stuff is is he gives them away in sets, so you can win like four, seven, ten, and uh, when you win the set, you win the chase and it, the chases that come with it and everything. That's why that's why everybody likes Shumi Toys. Now Shumi Toys is is ran by a guy whose last name is Shumi, and he's really cool. So if you get a chance to watch his videos, watch some of his videos. He goes live every. All right, his uh, his mystery boxes go live every Sunday and Wednesday, I think, around nine o'clock, if I remember right. So, check it out. It, uh, they they sell out pretty fast. Uh, my next one that I'm trying to get is uh, Toy USA. They're also the same thing. They do the same thing, but with theirs, um, if you buy more than one box, which you can buy more than one box of these, you can buy like twelve of these if you want. And what he'll do is he'll put them all in one box, and uh. And that way it saves on shipping for you and, well, for him because he needs shipping on it. Anyway, so Toy, there's Toy USA. There's another guy named uh, Pop King Paul. And Pop King Paul, if you catch him on Instagram, he talks to you and he finds out what you want, what your want list is, what you have, and what you're looking for. And what you'll do is you send him like $100, $200, $300, whatever you want to do. And uh, he asks you whether or not you want to include shipping in that or whether you want the pops to be you know three hundred dollars and then you know and then he'll give you and then he'll tell you what, what his price for shipping is um and and the the stuff that people have been pulling out of these are absolutely amazing i mean just amazing like i mean this is what this, this is shoe toys now when i say that 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 the pops are amazing i'm talking like rails like i saw somebody pull out a, a headless ned stark and you know the Headless Dead Stark's worth like a couple thousand dollars, especially now that uh, Game of Thrones is over. So anyway, without further ado, I think that we'll open up the Shumi first, if that's okay, okay with you. I'm fine. Um, before we go any further, I'll just send a, a shout out to Johnny Tellez and Morgan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, guys. Uh, she's beautiful. Yes. Your, your baby is beautiful. They had a baby. I can't. Ramona? Ramona Salem Tellez. Yeah. Ramona Salem, I remember Salem because I, I thought that was a pretty name. Uh, beautiful, beautiful baby. Congratulations, guys. Uh, I couldn't have, I couldn't, I couldn't think mm -hmm. of a, a better, a, 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 a more deserving couple of, of such a, a bundle of joy. You guys are uh, very lucky, and she's very lucky to have y'all. Um, yep. uh, shout out to the, uh, the, the Pinsky crew. The Pinsky crew. If shout out watching. to Kelly. Shout out to our other unboxing bro. Yes, Kelly, you are an unboxing bro. You always will be an unboxing bro. Yeah. Uh, you may not be the, an original OG, but you, you are, are close first. to it, brother. Yes. You uh, and you will always be one of our unboxing bros, just so you know. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, shout out to all our fans that have that have uh, follow, followed, followed us and been with us this whole time. And yes, we've been up, down, we've been all around. Um, we even got t several t-shirts. <laughs> we got scars to prove it. Yes. Um, but, you know, guys, this is something that Mike and I both really, really enjoy doing. And la after last night's video, uh, Mike put us back on the map with that. And I want to give a, a, a congratulations to uh, his son, Chris, and to his uh, 
camera person, and uh, we're going to call her the... Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll call her Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call her the manager yeah. for uh, that. And, yeah, that was uh, amazing. The manager, because she did an amazing job being Dude, right there for, oh for the God. guys while they did that. And uh, Man, that, that to me, painful. that was the hands down the, the best unboxing yet. I mean, it was amazing. God, that was painful. The guys did so that good. Was I was I wish I could have been there, but I had, uh, yeah, I had yeah, other you duties. There, you were there in spirit. Well, I, I had other things. I, I had other duties. We were good. We were good. But, uh, we handled it. We did the thing. <laughs> Again, uh, Dude, seriously. Next time, um, we're thinking about doing the uh, one chip challenge. Would okay. you be interested? I won't do it because Why? I because it there there's a reason, uh, folks. I want to explain this now on camera. There's a reason that I don't do challenges like that because I don't I don't I don't react what well to stuff. The, like, what about the I don't roll duck eggs? But I, do I, I don't react well to stuff like that. I could get like seriously sick, like hospital sick. So could I. And I I know you can, but but I I, I probably will. <laughs> So I will be there for you. I will be there for you more than just the like, I'll do the chip. I'll be, yeah, Kelly, cool. There you go. There's another person right there. Yeah. Um, so I will be there for you more than just in spirit. I'll be handing out, you know, whatever, barf bags, whatever I have to do. Uh, About thousand-year-old duck eggs. But I, I got to let you know that if you barf in front of me, I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna puke myself. Chris puked, dude. Dude, oh Chris, eyes crossed. It was hilarious. He's like, <laughs> he came to the like, camera. He's like his eyes were like this, and they were all blood. It was funny. If you haven't seen the video from last night, they did the oh Toe of Satan challenge last night, the oh five minute God. Toe of Satan challenge, and killed it. Absolutely killed it. Now, now this is a fourteen year old, thirteen year old, thirteen year old kid who did the who did more than most people. If you if you watch it on YouTube, Holy they he did he did it for longer than most of the grown men did on that thing, and I was so proud of the boy. I mean, he was so good. So was, seriously, was a shout out, Chris. That that was, that was great, amazing, man. Dude. Um, that was amazing. Absolutely. And, and the amazing. next thing I want to challenge is I want to do the go, I want to do the uh, Carolina Reaper challenge. Okay, uh, I'll be there for you, man, cool. as much as I can. I, I, I won't do it myself, and it's not me being chicken. There he goes. Yes, Chris, we really are. Yeah, we're giving man. You, we're giving you mad props. Dude. Um, Amazing job, buddy. And it's Even not, if you did puke, that it's was... It's not that I'm chicken. Chicken, I mean, I've done some stuff that would turn your hair white, but it just, I, I the stuff like that, I, I can't, I've got too much. No, we're talking good things, actually. <laughs> These two thirds. That's Jackie. <laughs> That's the man. man Jackie, here. I gave you mad props too. It's the man, man, man in the hour. The That's manager. the manager. We man, call you man the manager. Year. You're the manager now. It's the man of year. Chicken. Yeah, uh, you tell me what you want, Chris. Uh, <laughs> I gave you mad props though. So. But no, uh, he, he really does have a phobia of hot stuff. I, 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 I do know that for a fact. And <laughs> I, I still like giving him hell for it because. He, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he really did. He took it like a champ. It, I mean, more than just a champ. I'm telling you, like I was just saying, he did better than most grown men. We watched, and you watched this one too, the, the, oh, the, the two, two bodybuilders. Oh, man. They're hilarious. Dummy, I mean, they're, they're, stupid dummy. They're hilarious, and they reminded me of my brother. But uh, these two grown men who who, who, who freaking lift weights for a freaking living probably, um, they're, they're hilarious, were in tears. They were I mean, hilarious. absolute tears. He was talking. He just got a whole mouthful of ice cream. And, like, oh. and the other guy, instead of going for the ice cream, we grabbing ice. <laughs> that black box keeps popping up. She says, "I don't know what that is." What is she talking about? Oh, for this the the app of the um. Oh phone. yeah, yeah. It keeps telling me that I'm going offline with the companion. It shows app. it shows it black on y'all on, on on your screen, but on ours it, it's it's white and says that that uh, the companion app is off. Companion, yeah. That's all it is. It's nothing major. But, and um, oh oh oh, so I, I give I got to give y'all mad props for singing the song. I was I wanted to be there so bad. Anyway, that without further ado, let's go ahead and open up these boxes so that we can at least get it started. Uh, this is a Shumi Toys. Uh, I've already explained what it is. If it's wrestling, he told me I could have it, y'all. I'm just saying. Absolutely. I'm just, just want to throw that free warning out there. Like, if it's wrestling, it's mine. It is his. Even if, it, even if it's uh, a chase. A chase. Even if it's, it's a grail. Hope it's a dollar. I, I got, let me let me disclaimer. If it is a true Rey Mysterio pop, I will not take it. That is mine. I'm sorry, I, I can't I can't give up on my my Rey Mysterio pop. If it's a Seven Eleven, I won't take that from him at all. All right, so if it's a Ric Flair. If it's a woo, it's mine. 
Alright, so we win? We win? this is what it looks like. Do we win? I don't know yet. Oh, hold the pack. Hold the pack. Hold the, oh, yeah. No, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no note on it. So with a note, if there was a note on it, yeah, I'm sure you do. If there was a note on it, then I would have won a thing, but apparently. It don't look like it's a chase, though. It may not be. All right, so this is how Shumi packages the stuff. It's in, usually like? in a single box. These are called, uh, uh these are called, uh. Hot boxes? No. Three and a half by fours? No, they're called, uh. Oh, let me see it. Uh, it's called a hack. There's a name for it. Hat box. I can't remember what it's called. But this is me opening the thing. Ready? Here it goes. And it is a, ooh, a Toy Story. Ooh. It's the Penguin one. It's Wheezy. Is it the Toy Story 4 one? Yeah. Or just Toy Story? Uh, Toy Story. Just, oh, it might be worth some money. It's the original Toy Story. That's nice. Toy I'll have to look it up and see what it's, what it's worth. I love Wheezy. Oh. She like penguins. I thought you liked pandas. She likes pandas and penguins. Oh, okay. Because they're black and white. Pixels. Um, the box is in. Oh, it's pristine condition. Looks yeah, like pretty good condition. It's got a little. It's little got big. a little problems. But uh, they, they, this is Shimmy Toys. Shimmy to Toys usually gives you something good. So I'll look this up while uh, Mike is opening up his his uh, exploding kit. No, no, no. I'll let you go into your other thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but I'm I'll oh. I'll look this up while he's doing that. Uh, we're not going to play test this site. Have you talked about this yet? No, we won't talk about that. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so this right here is a Shumi Toys. Shout out to Shumi Toys. Now, I usually get a sticker. I didn't get a sticker this time. Uh, I've seen everybody get stickers. Anyway, alright, so this right. <laughs> Mike. I'm trying to keep it hidden while you open it. Okay, alright, so this right this here is a magic is trick. This right here is uh, uh, from the Lady Death store. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a thing. It's a pinup uh, book. Uh, basically, it's 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 her in a in a Star Wars genre. And what appealed to it, uh, appealed so much to it uh, uh, about it to me was that it was her in the golden bikini laid out in the front. I was like, oh, dude, you know the golden bikini. Yeah. Dude, I uh, got a Captain Dead 666. Uh, captured Leia, we're not allowed to say slave Leia anymore, it's captured Leia. I mean, really am I allowed to say slave Leia? Because it's offensive. Are you kidding me? It's offensive to feminists, it's offensive to... Okay, thanks. All right, so this is me opening. Mike, you're watching me open this for the first time. Now they're watching you do it. I mean, hey, I, I deserve I deserve props on this because normally this would have been open the day I got it, but I've had it for what two weeks now. About that. About two weeks now. So for me, this is epic. Now the Shumi, I gotta admit, I just got that today, but I still waited until this afternoon to open it. So that's still kind of a props. Polito and Lady Death, man, they they. Oh, no. It's a comic. Okay. I didn't yeah. realize it was a comic. I did. All their stuff is comics, dude. I thought it was going to be a book. Oh, look at that. I know. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Now, there's a naughty version of this that I wasn't able to the, the get. I didn't purchase. The naughty version is her, and then, of course, the top there is see through. And the bottom shows uh, a little more than just. I like this version better, I think. I do too. Uh, I, I thought so too. I'm going to open it. I don't open it. Well, I never open those. Let me see what I What do you mean, never open those? I got to see inside. Oh, yeah, eventually. <laughs> eventually. There's only 260 of them made. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Mike might be in love. You might have to do a thing. Yeah, you can have your, your slave layout, I mean, I can't. your capture layout, whatever. See, now this right here. You got that from LadyDeathStore.com. Yes. How'd you know that? Because I go there all the time. Okay, yes. So. How do you think I got my cap? Well, I got my Captain Death 666 from an auction. Oh, Captain Marvel? Is it Captain Marvel? It's Captain Marvel spinoff yeah. with her going like this. This is Captain Death 666. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, apparently uh, the 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 one that I, I missed that I really wanted was. Oh, did, did, is that why you said that? Where it's from? Um, the the one that I missed that I really wanted was uh was uh the um Ghost Rider one. Yeah, the Ghost Rider one. 
That's what I can get you one. Yeah, give me one if you can. We'll, 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 we'll do some thing. And we we'll get. Some I think Mike's right. I, I don't think I'm going to open this because oh. I, I don't want to say lady slave in this test. So maybe you, maybe you can say something. I don't. Know. But I just thought that was so high, and I want my wife to try to draw this for me because I want to put it up on the wall. That's an amazing artist too, by the way. Who is it? Is it right there on the wall? I don't know who it is, but it's really nice. C A. C A A. Okay, so that's that, uh, and then Mike's gonna open this while Mike's opening this. I'm gonna look up. Uh, now this right here is throw throw burrito prototype. Throw oh, throw burrito. Um, this is a board game. We're not really a board game. It's a card game where you throw burritos at people. They're little plushy burritos. LP. That cool. He always has the coolest stuff on his. Stuff. From Niobe too, man. So, uh, and, and dude, and you know what? He's over his thing and he's going to be doing things. Yes, yes. Uh, another shout out to LP. And he almost made me cry the other night where me and him were talking. So, and everybody that's Explain. in Mobile, Alabama and watching this, if you're a wrestling fan, if you're a wrestling nerd, if you're a wrestling geek, and you're in town and you want to watch the AEW Double or Nothing pay per view, go to Engage Gaming Saturday. At six o'clock, or whenever the time it is, I'm not sure. Oh, it opened. Uh oh. And we're doing the page. You late now? Uh oh. Hi there. This is your super early sneaky peeky copy of Throw Throw Burrito. Throw You're burrito. getting this months before anyone else because you backed our game at the highest level, and quite frankly, we like you. <laughs> the party supplies included are not part of the game unless you're the sort of person who likes to party while you play, which in case we want to see pictures using the hashtag throw throw burrito. Also part of the deal of a prototype is that we need your feedback. Please let us know how to make the game even better at explodingkittens.com slash playtest. Love the party professionals at Exploding Kittens. <laughs> okay, so this is this is the new release. I am a burrito. Yes you are. It's, it's what it says. I am a burrito. This is just this is just the new release. So it's not it's not anything it's not big. Even I thought, a burrito. I it's, it was, it's not even a burrito. It's a burrito. It says I am a burrito. So I guess this is a burrito. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Fear me badge. Another. <laughs> it's all pretty. Another I am a burrito. I love this. I'm loving this already. We've got to play this game. <laughs> dude, we've got to play this so bad, dude. I am a burrito. I am a burrito. Oh, balloons! <gasps> throw, throw, throw a burrito! This is Mike's kid side that's coming out. Throw, throw a burrito! I'm not kidding you. No, no, I see it. <laughs> I love this. I wonder if it's part of the game. No, it's not. <laughs> These are not part of the game. I've had this for like three days, and dude, guess what? When we start. Hashtag throw throw burrito. Everybody yes. go to there and, and say that you saw the Unboxing Bros unbox this early. Early. Oh, dude, what is this? this is the. Okay, here's the rule book, everybody. The rule book. Feels cool. Okay, um, the rules, more rules. Uh, they, they did a thing with the rules. Now, keep in mind, this is just a prototype. So this is not how the game at the at the end. Go to the burrito instructions. The goal of the game is to win two rounds by earning the most points. You earn points by passing cards around the table and collecting three of a kind sets as fast as you can. Some special sets trigger throwing battles where the first person to be hit by a burrito loses a point. Collect sets and avoid the airborne burritos to achieve squishy dominance. What? <laughs> Sounds like you play a card game while you throw burritos at each other. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Dude, this is going to be amazing. They've got bruised cards and everything, which is awesome. So I'm not going to tell you all the details of the game. I'm just going to tell you how you do a thing. What the hell is this? Is this the banner? Oh my god. <laughs> they gave us a banner? They should have never done a thing. Oh my god. 
They well, did a thing. Um, truth hurts. Looks like your house is about to be redecorated. Dude, they gave me streamers. Dude, they gave me streamers. Oh, but they you? gave us streamers. Taco Bell. <laughs> Go for it. There was so many different names of this game before it even happened. It was like called uh, throwing pets at animal, throwing pets at people. They're like, no, 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 no. That's just cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, we can't do that. So well, I mean, their last game was called Exploding Kittens. So. Yeah. So they and that's uh, that's actually in Target. You can find that in Target. <laughs> There's Zesty Zack. There is Bodacious Bearbutt. Bodacious Bearbutt. So, my nickname in high school. Was it really? That's crazy. But I'm pretty sure this says throw throw burrito. I'm pretty sure that's what this is going to say. This is. Did you say with I'm a burrito? You hit <laughs> so me with I'm like, a burrito. Yeah. Gotta hit me. Gotta hit me so I don't know how this feels. Oh, it's, it's, it's squishy. Good. They're not that bad. They're not hurt. They're, they're, they're squishy. And they squishy. <laughs> this is going to be a fun game to play from three to six people. Especially if you're drinking. Oh my oh god, my. could you imagine? <laughs> Dude, this is going to be so much fun. Oh my god. I can't wait for a party to take these two to go, hey. Oh anybody, my god, dude. Anybody want to play a game <laughs> with me? Have a game and everybody should play. What's it called? I have a burrito. No, nope, it's called. Oh, show it up close, she says. Here. I am a burrito. <laughs> I have a burrito. These are the things, and, and they're soft. They, uh, you, don't, you don't feel them at all. See? Yeah, they're like little bit soft. And then you, there's cards. And this right here says throw throw burrito. I'm almost guaranteeing it does because it's got a lot of stuff in it. I'm not opening this <laughs> at all. <laughs> when we start. Yeah, because we're not redecorating Steve's up. When, when we do this at Engage, we should take this. Oh my God. And stream it up. <laughs> they get upside down. It's ah. throw throw burrito. <laughs> That's a balloon. It's a potato, she said. She said it's a potato. No, it's not. It says burrito. That's a fucking potato. It says burrito, damn it. It says I am a burrito. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. And I cannot wait to use these. Oh my god. There's a, there's a fear me badge. <laughs> and these things say bruises. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but it can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So, now, the setup of the game. I mean, it's really professionally done. Look at that. There's a little sticker in there that says throw it That's really one. nice. Set up. Just two of you read this side first and go see the game variant section on the other side of the really sheet. Nice. Dude, we could play this tonight for me and you. <laughs> no. Oh, shuffle the deck of cards and deal out approximately 15 cards facing down to each player. Don't bother counting cards exactly. Any close to 15 cards is fine. Put your personal draw pile to your right. Split the remaining cards into even evenish piles and place them face down in the middle of the table to form the community piles. Place the burritos and the burrito bruises in the middle of the table. Each player should be able to reach at least one burrito and one community pile. Each player should take the top five cards from their personal draw piles and look at them. Leave the rest of the pile face down. Try to get three matching cards as quickly as you can by discarding cards in your hand one at a time and drawing new ones from your personal draw pile. When you get a set of three matching cards, put them face up in the in front of you in a single pile and draw three more cards from your personal draw pile. You can never have more than five cards in your hand, so always discard before you draw. There are no turns. All players will draw and discard at the same time. Holy crap! Draw cards from your personal draw pile on your right and discard cards face down to your personal draw pile, the player to your left. Oh my god, I can see the fights already. <laughs> if you run out of cards in your personal draw pile, you may draw from either of the community piles. You must resume drawing from your personal draw pile once it has cards again. <laughs> what a mess. Your personal draw pile is going to get very messy as the player next to you discards their cards into it. Don't worry, just grab whatever you can and keep going. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> if you get a set of three matching cards, it is worth one point. Put it down in front of you in a single pile, this is your score pile. If you get a set of three burrito cards, scuffle war or duel, it's worth two points and it also starts a battle. Normal card sets, one point. Battle card sets plus two points. Burrito bruises equal negative one point. We'll explain these in a minute, it says. That's not good at all. So we go over. <laughs> You should send uh, color, you should send color your, your own burrito. burrito. Hey, you know what? That is a great idea. We will let them know. 
Oh yeah, like you can personalize your own burrito. That'd be, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Like you can actually decorate your own burrito. Like, color me, you know, dude, that'd be amazing. Yeah, like like, like if you throw a party, you could like say, you know, I made this burrito. You know, like that, Stephen's that. birthday party or something on it. That'd be a really good idea, Jackie. I like that. We will. We will. Uh, I'll definitely tell them that. When right. you click three matching battle cards, put them in your score pile and yell the name of the battle skillful war duel. When a battle is declared, all other gameplay stops. Oh wow. Scuffle. When you play three matching scuffle cards, the players to your right and your left are immediately in a scuffle. Each of them should try to grab a burrito as quickly as possible and throw it at each other. The first of the two to get hit by a burrito loses the scuffle. <laughs> what the? <laughs> there are two kinds oh, of scuffle oh, cards. Oh. You cannot make a set containing both colors of scuffle cards. War. When you play three matching war cards, all players at the table except for you are immediately in a war and should try to grab a burrito as quickly as possible and throw it at any other player. The first player to get hit by a burrito except for you loses the war. Duel. When you play three matching duel cards, pick any two players, including yourself if you'd like. Those players each grab a burrito and stand back to back. Both players will simultaneously say three, two, one burrito. As each number is said, both players will take a step away from each other in a straight line. And on burrito, they turn and throw. The first player to get hit by a burrito loses the duel. I can <laughs> see fights breaking out of this. It's I mean, this is, this is one where you put away your good china and like anything on the walls that you don't want to get broke. <laughs> if you do Hide not, the kids. If you don't have the correct set of three cards for the battle you declared, you lose the battle. If you mistakenly grab a burrito and you're not in a battle, you lose the battle. In both cases, the battle is immediately over. If Why? you lose a battle, take a burrito bruise and put it in your score pile. Burrito bruises are worth negative one points. Only one burrito bruise is given out per battle. After a battle, return the burritos to the table and grab your cards. The player who triggered the battle counts 3 2 1 burrito to resume playing. Starting, just pick a player to say 3 2 1 burrito to start playing. The game is played in two rounds. The first round is over when the last burrito bruise is given out. The player with the most points wins that round. The winner of the round gets the Fear Me badge and proudly displays it on the table in front of them. Next, reset the table and play the second round. And then round two, if the player with the Fear Me badge wins again, they win the game. If someone else wins the second round, that person must duel the player with the Fear Me badge to determine who wins the game. <laughs> I see all kinds of fights break down about this one. This is great! This is great! Oh my god, this is so wonderful. I'm in love. Dude, why don't they make games like this ever? <laughs> Battle rules, okay, we already know about the battle How rules. How did they think of this? Dude, there was so many different things about this game. I mean, I can, I can just see beanbags being thrown across. Wow, wow man. Wow. <laughs> Dude, People I'm falling out. so excited about this game. Like, y'all don't even have a clue. I can't wait to get drunk and play throw, throw, burrito. The, the, the real good thing, I mean, when I when I say this is soft, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it's, it's I mean, you can, it's this skishy is soft. like less than a pillow. It's like, like the stress ball soft. It it's softer. A, it's softer, actually. It's softer. Yeah. Uh, stress balls have a little bit of like resistance. Yeah, resistance. This doesn't have any resistance. Like, yeah, like but it's so like skishy. I mean, you really can't. So if you get hit in the head with this or you know whatever, it's not really gonna hurt. Yeah, it don't hurt. So I mean, it's not like you know people being ah, you know it's not like that. But the one I backed, I'm gonna tell you all this now. The one I backed on this game, it says I backed the most highest level. True. Okay, it was a hundred bucks, a little under a hundred dollars. But let's be real. Is it worth it? What do you think? <laughs> hours and hours of fun. Dude, this is going to be so much fun. Throw, throw, burrito. Throw, throw, burrito. Okay. The one I backed was $95. I, this is what I get. I get a throw, throw, burrito original edition. Throw, throw, burrito Kickstarter exclusive edition. Throw, throw, burrito extreme going pro edition. Throw Throw Burrito Prototype Game Deck Kickstarter Exclusive, two Throw Throw Burrito Prototype Burritos, and all applicable unlock stretch goals upgrades. Now, with that being said... So you're getting three more games of this? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The That's Extreme Edition? Crazy. The Extreme Edition? Okay, we'll get the Extreme Edition. Okay, the Extreme Going Pro Edition? Now let me explain what this is. <laughs> okay, the Extreme Going Pro Edition is this. Um, it, it, you, you get inflatable throwables, two of them, which means you get two inflatable burritos. <laughs> okay, oh, 
Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> that was real. That wasn't that 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 planned. That was real. Yeah, that was, that was real. Okay. <laughs> you get a Threat Throw Burrito Original Edition, Threat Throw Burrito Kickstarter Exclusive Edition, Threat Throw Burrito Waterproof Deck, two the giant inflatable Throw Throw deck. Burritos for outdoor play, seven plastic waterproof game pieces, six Throw Throw Burrito Safety Goggles, six sets of Throw Throw Burrito Wristbands, six Throw Throw Burrito Sweat Brands, and that's about it. And that comes with the exclusive uh, Extreme Going Pro Edition. Now, I'm excited to say right now, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm extremely happy. So, with that being said, and let me just stress that if Mike is happy, the world is happy. Yes, and Friday night, whenever I go to do a thing up there at Engage, I'm taking this game with me. And anybody that wants to play Throw Throw Burrito, we're going to have a time. We're going to have so much fun. And we are going to sit there and we are going to demo this game for everyone. And anybody who has feedback about it, I am going to be so happy. Because all we're going to do is hashtag throw throw burrito. And you've seen it, you're probably not here first, but again, I am a burrito and it's not a potato. So, it's a me, a Mario. They can't see you. They can't? No, they can't. It's a me, a Mario. They saw you then. So, yeah, the bruises are right here. These right here are worth negative one points. God. I don't have anything for you. Uh, I'm and fear me badge. <laughs> dude, this is gonna be so fun. That's a, that's freaking amazing, dude. That's 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 amazing. I wish I wish I would have backed that whenever it was out now. <laughs> dude, can you imagine having like two or three of these games? Yes. And have them all That's going? what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. Hey, dude, I'm telling you. One night we'll move everything out of here. And we'll put the table right in the middle. We'll put we'll the chairs play, out throw here, throw burrito. And we'll play throw throw. I, I'm talking. I'm taking stuff off the walls because I mean this is going to get intense. Dude, we should take this to work. No. Dude, during lunch time, who wants to play <laughs> throw throw burrito? <laughs> People not going back to work. <laughs> They'd be like, No, we're playing. <laughs> we're playing throw throw burrito. There's cars out there. We ain't even got there. Gonna work. No, we're okay. We're over the game. Who's winning? It don't matter. <laughs> Everybody's. I got streamers, man. You got streamers, man. Streamers. We got balloons. We got we got Ritos, We got cards. And this right here is this right here is what makes me happy the most. <laughs> now this now this go whoever that wrote this wrote that in uh, in uh, Sharpie and then. Photocopied it. <laughs> yes, that it makes is. Mike happy. <laughs> <laughs> that does. So anybody Mike's watching happy, this the right now, happy. I'm telling y'all, you guys don't understand. You're going to love this. If Mike is happy, the world is happy. I'm not even opening the decks yet. I'm leaving it all like that. I'm gonna close it back up. And Friday. And, <laughs> and Friday we're going to do a thing, and we're going to give feedback to them, and we're going to do it live. Oh. Facebook, here we come, buddy. Friday, I can't do it Friday. Friday night? I can't do it Friday night. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell this. We are too. For birthday party? Yeah. Oh, high five. I'll be there. Mike's birthday party? Yeah. yeah I didn't know y'all were on there. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll be at Tilly's with, with Steve Friday night. But we're not going to stay late. We're just going to go up there and hang out. And then... Oh, well, I mean, she likes to dance and parties. Yeah. So I'm sure she will. Hey, we got three viewers. What up, three viewers? So, yeah, we'll go there and then I'm gonna go do this too. I'll probably do that first. I'll probably go do this after work. Where? At Engage? Oh. Uh -huh. On Friday? Yeah. I can't because Elizabeth has to work. So. I, know. I, I, I know. I won't be with her on this one. But you're gonna broadcast it, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright, so. And we'll do it Saturday too. Th this is a good time to. to, 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 to Say something. All right, look. Unboxing Bros. The original OGs are are is myself and Mike. So, but that being said, the Unboxing Bros is is 
a group. We're, we're not just just not just two people. It's not just me and Mike. Nope. We have Kelly. Yep. We have Jackie. We have Chris now. We yeah, have Danny. Elizabeth is here. Yes. Um, Vincent. Vincent. We have a bunch of people that are part of the Unboxing Bros. Then we have the fans. Like we have uh, Kaya. We have, I mean, LP. We have uh, Waka. Uh, I mean, we have... We have a bunch of people. And, uh, and, and uh, don't forget PC James. Luscious Larry. Who is that guy? I don't know, <laughs> but he knows he, us. He loves you. I know. <laughs> Luscious Larry, and then of course uh, um, your friend. Uh, PCJ. No. Uh, Larry. Oh, Larry Mary. Larry Mary. Oh yeah, from the family. From yeah. Uh, uh, so I mean, and those are fans, but they're also unboxing bros. So that being said, I just want to stress the fact that sometimes I'm not going to be able to be there. And I heart you, Larry Merrick. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not going to be able to be there. Sometimes Mike may not be able to be there. But we will. But if we fly under the Unboxing Bros banner, you should know that if we do something, the other person's there in spirit, if not on on the chat. Okay. Yeah. Except for so, what I did with the one with Kelly, dude. That was late at night. Oh my god. It doesn't matter. I'm still there in spirit. Dude, did you see how long that was? Yes, but I'm. I'm uh, that's what I'm trying to trying to stress is that as long as it's flown under the Unboxing Brothers, Brothers the, bear, uh, banner, banner, then it's going to be me and Mike's decision to do this, and we're the ones that 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 run that that that, that are do the OGs. Yes. So that being said, if Mike does a thing with with like oh with, my God. You know, with everybody there with, with uh, whoever there or oh something like God, that, dude, but I'm not gonna there. Be, dude, gonna be I'm still there. I'm just there in spirit. I dude. just I just needed to say that. This is going to be so crazy. I wonder how many people Case in point last night. On, on, oh, yes. Oh, yes. You were there. You were on the channel. I, mean, I was on the channel. channel. So, <laughs> this right night. here at Engage Gaming Friday night. Actually, during Friday, I guess. And if you don't know what Engage Gaming is, what is Engage Gaming, Mike? Well, they're doing live wrong, first off. True. Engage Gaming is an actual place where you can go and play video games. You might have to pay for a little bit of money to play the video games, but you get to play it with people who aren't in your living room. Uh, for example, if you have your best friend over, and matter of fact, a good, exa good example is you're a single kid. Single kid. You don't have no brothers you're not or married. sisters. You're you're a kid. You, don't have, you're not you, don't have, you don't have no brothers or sisters. You're your only sibling, hence Chris. And you want to play video games with your friends, but all of them are grounded. <laughs> I. Mike, this is not going good, man. This is, yes, it is. Let's take an ugly yes, turn. It no, it isn't. No, it isn't. But. You, you're alone, and you look around, and you're like, but I want to play video games with my friends. And I'm not grounded, but all and my I'm friends not, are. But all my friends are. They're hoodlums, but I'm not. So, <laughs> but Engage Gaming is an opportunity for me to go play video games with people around my age. And they might even have a tournament. And I just got paid my allowance. So, I want to go play video games with my friends who didn't get grounded in Mobile, Alabama. And... I need to go up there and do a thing. So what do they do? They go up there and they pay you, what, seven bucks to go play a game? A five if you're a member. A five if you're a member? And, dude, their memberships are amazing. Me and him did the actual VR test. Whoa. The most amazing Whoa. thing I've ever experienced. And, wow. I mean, it's hands down when it comes to video games. I'm not a huge video gamer. I never have been. But I like to play video games some. We all do. And I've never done the VR before. I did, like, something that called itself VR, but it wasn't. But uh, I've never done the real VR thing, man. And I'm telling you, you get so into it that you actually think that you're wielding lightsabers and stuff. It's really cool. And that's just one game they had. I mean, there's a Matrix thing on there where you're yes. like dodging bullets and stuff. It's really, really cool. Dude. Yeah. Oh, you talked the so, super hot game. That yeah, was that's, dude. That's uh, it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing. There's mouse on there where you're like God and you actually control the mouse and you get to do things and sit down and do a thing. I was like, wait. All uh, right. So, so this is this is called Engage Gaming. It's at Gamers and Geeks. It's in, in it's uh, the same it's building. Offer Road. It's in Sims. Yeah. So if you're from here or you're around here or you're just passing through here. Just go go to Moffat Road. You can and look it's it up. It's engage, engage, just like E N G A G E. Engage, just like just like uh, Jean Luc Picard. Engage. engage. Yeah. Nice. So that's I don't know whether that's, uh, whether that's where they got it or what, but anyway. So I don't know. But but, um, but if you're from here, you live anywhere around here, or you're just flying through here. Man, you've it's, got to go check this place out. It is, it's amazing. And the guys who it's run it, is. the guys who run it are really good friends. Um, 
there's Stephen Snow, there's Zach Cadillo, there's Jonathan, I don't know your last name, and Darius, I really don't know your last name. Okay, so look, this is what I got out of it. Some friends. Oh, dude, they're amazing. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, you got Stephen, who is the quiet, nerdy, geeky type. Then you got Jonathan, who used to look like Michael Jackson, but don't know more. Zach Cadillo, who could pass for that dude that played in Twilight, the the uh, the werewolf dude. Okay. And uh, Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. And then Darius, the token black guy. <laughs> the token black guy. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> no, um, really. No, in no seriousness, though, Darius is awesome. Uh, he he's probably my probably one of the most laid back guys you'll ever meet. Um, he he came back from Minnesota to help these guys out do a thing, and. All four of them collectively together are amazing because they have 20 PCs, um, 20 PS4s, 20 Xbox One S's, switches. I think 10 or 15 switches, and two VR, 360 VR the headsets. Oculus things. Oh my God! They're, they're not amazing. Oculus. They're, oh, they're the not? HTC versions. Okay. Which are still amazing. All right. So, all right. So, case in point, we were standing around and they're like, "Hey, you want to try this out?" We're like, "Sure." So Mike gets on there first, you know, and he's, he's doing his thing, right? Well, me, I normally wear glasses. I have contacts in right now, but I normally wear glasses. So my concern was, am I going to have to take my glasses off? Because I can't really see without my glasses. And he goes, no, they fit over it. So these all things four fit. of them wear glasses. Yeah, they fit right over my glasses. They were very comfortable. They made sure that we knew exactly what was going on. They gave us a, a quick briefing on what to do, what not to do. They stood right beside us the whole time just in case something went wrong. Man, I'm telling you, it was a great experience. They make sure that they make sure you have a great experience. And I tell you what, also, I, I uh, gave them a shout out on Facebook on our, our Unboxing Bros page, a group, and on their page, I, I did a, a like a, a review type thing for them. Within like like two minutes after I, I posted that, uh, they popped up. Hey, man, thanks for the kind words. We're glad you had fun. Dude, Amazing. what other business does that? No. I can't think of any. I mean, there's there's a couple that will answer right <coughs> away, but I mean, this was like at like two o'clock in the morning. No, it was it was, it was close. It was like eleven thirty, almost twelve o'clock at night, and they were still bam popped right up. Yeah, we're glad you had fun. You know, thanks for the kind of words. I'm like, dude, cool. You know, they're amazing people. Amazing. Um, I want to do an interview with them on camera. And we will. Yeah. We, we're definitely going to interview. They, and, they gave us the go-ahead, and they're excited about that. So yeah. we are. We're excited about that. And um, a thing they gave us pointers into because they have amazing jerseys. Amazing jerseys. Oh, oh wow. And, dude. You got to get some original OG jerseys. Man. Oh, man. Dude, oh, we're so stoked man. about that. So stoked. <laughs> and the shirts and stuff we're going to get made. And we're not going to give a, a lot away, man, but, but, but in all seriousness, Mike and I are diving back into this like full head first into the diving pool type thing, and we've got some big plans coming. I mean, some some. I will say this is pops. If you're a pop collector, who wouldn't want? Covered. Who wouldn't want to have an unboxing brothers pop? This <laughs> this guy right here is. I'm a pop guy. And you, who oh, wouldn't want to have an unboxing bros? Uh, unboxing bros shirt. Who wouldn't want to have an Unboxing Bros jersey? Who wouldn't want that? The jerseys we might reserve for us. Yeah, the jerseys are going to be for, for me and him and... And, and I, companions. Yeah. And I, I, do, I, I do want to do... Kelly one and, and Jackie and Elizabeth and Chris. I Definitely do, Chris. I do want to get one for them too. Just uh, a single jersey with everything on it, like we were talked about. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, we, we we have we have plans. We, we have, have we have huge plans. Yeah, we, and we will. We're gonna let them know that. I'll let them know a little bit of it Friday if they're cool with it, and if not, then we'll have to do a little bit. Don't of be surprised if the next big unboxing that we have, if we don't have a set built, like a real set, like like unboxing professional. rose set, professional, professional. set with a we've, microphone and everything. We've we've got some stuff in the works. Um, now, th again, that being said, I should give a disclaimer. Now, there are going to be some times <clears throat> when we record stuff on our phones and upload it. We won't always be live. Mike said this before, and I want to reiterate it. We won't always be live, but every chance we get to be live, we will because we love the interaction. We love it when y'all comment. We love it when y'all... We even love the trolls, man. The trolls are fun sometimes. Sometimes. And we usually get trolls about right now, actually, so I'm surprised there aren't any. 
Yeah. Um, but, you know, we like the interaction. We like hearing y'all's comments. We like seeing y'all laugh, you know, and, you know, we... We, we, we have our we have our fans that, that are always on here. We have our fans that are on here every time they try they can be. Um, the big thing about us is that we go live pretty random. We will decide we'll go live one night, but it'll be kind of random when we do it. Usually after like eight, tonight, like tonight, kind of random thing. I think I approached you today and said, "Hey, let's go live." I think we did it yesterday. Oh uh, yeah, because of this. That's right. <clears throat> but but uh, <clears throat> you kept coming up to me and said, "Dude." <laughs> are we still on? I'm like, yes. Yeah. Hell yeah, we are. So uh, that being said, I mean, you know, there, there's we're going to be going live at the same time. That some other people might be going live. Like LP likes to go live. He does his, his Rebel comics. He does stuff like that. And uh, we won't ever take anything away from him. Um, matter of fact, when we finish this, if he is live, we'll, we might pop on there and say hi. Um, you're going to see a lot more of us... Uh, Doing interviews like this, we want to do interviews for things. We want to do challenges. Uh, oh. We want guests. Uh, we want to go to places like Engage Comics. We want to go engage to Engage Comics. Oh, engage sorry, games. Engage Engage Games. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we want to go to comic shops. We want to do stuff. We want TBS to do stuff. Comics over at Pensacola. Yes, oh, we we I want do. we that want to start promoting there. this this lifestyle because this is a lifestyle. We want to start promoting this. We want to start. Being the uh, boxing bros, we want to be the guys that that, that hey, uh, boxing bros are on. Let's go, let's go laugh at them, you know. And we get it, you know. We're, we're silly sometimes. But we Most of the time, we got we got Dude, our serious marks. Oh, the burrito! I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the burrito! Um, we have people at work that are laughing at us. At oh us man, now, especially Tyler. Dude, he showed Dave the thing. He's like, "Dude, these guys are stupid." <laughs> <laughs> and we are. We are pretty dumb. Uh, we're, yes. not, we're we're not denying that. We love it. So you know. And tonight we, we did a thing, and I'm excited. So a thing. So with that being said, it is almost an hour. We usually wrap up around about now, and we're not doing nothing crazy or hectic like you know, toy with Satan challenges or or Fear the Reaper challenge, which I do want to do the Fear the Reaper challenge. I think I can eat six Carolina Reapers in one sitting. I think I can do a thing. You know, seasons don't fear the Reaper. Nope. Don't fear the Reaper. Neither does the sun, the wind, or the rain. Wow, really, man? Really? But the best thing, in my opinion, though, is... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, you really going to show that all? Yes, I want to talk about this. All right, this little guy right here. All right. Bam! I just, I'm just, i sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you're good. All right, so when after Stan Lee died, they um, on Facebook, there was a thing that, that kept saying, you know, hey, you can get the, the Stan Lee superhero, blah, blah, pop, blah. You know, and it was like $10 or $15 or something like that for a special offer this time, right? It's from a place called, uh, I'll get the name for it because I, I want people to know about it. It's someplace overseas in Indonesia or something like that, and it's fake. It's faker than all hell. It's 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 absolutely fake. Um, just it so looks you, good though. It does look good, and and that's why I displayed it up. The box came. It was they 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 mailed it in an envelope. <laughs> so the box came completely destroyed and crushed. And I was like going, huh? Oh. And so I, I I tried to to look up the code on it. The code didn't come up at all. Um, and it took like. Oh, wow. Five months for it to get here, or something like that. It was just crazy. Glasses, man. It's like nothing yeah. There. It's so, terrible. but I mean, it looks okay, and and for the price, it wasn't too bad. But it's called uh, something Tiger. It's still terrible. Tigress or something. It's not even a Funko Pop. Yeah, it's it not even a Funko Pop. It doesn't even look like a Funko. I mean, the head does, but that's about it. But if you're ever looking to see if if a Funko Pop is real, there'll be a code on the on the feet. And there's an app that you can get on your phone now called Funko, and it has a a, 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 a service on it to where you can you, you just take it and you scan the uh, barcodes of, of your boxes. So if you really want to see if, if something's fake, scan that barcode and it, it'll come up if it, if it it'll, if it's not fake. I had a, I, I went back and scanned all my shit, all my stuff's real. Trust me, I was a little nervous after this. <clears throat> but yeah, I couldn't believe they, you know, they did a thing. They did a thing like that. But then again, I mean, you know, it's Stanley. I mean, I can't really 
complaining. You should have brought your Stan Lee to huh? the show off. Oh, that, that chromium one? Yeah. yeah. That's Chris's, actually. That's a good one. Yeah. It's not worth, right. like, a lot of money, but it's good. So, with that being said, support your local comic book stores. Support your local gaming store, like Gamers and Geeks. Or Engage Gaming. Engage Gaming. What was that? Oh, gaming. Okay, I get it. Sorry. Support something on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. Support your local indie wrestling. Oh, dude, dang it, bro. Support your local artist. Yes. Uh, support your your not so local artist. Um, now we have friends that are all the way up in Canada. Canadian. That, that the Great White North. Uh, LP shout out. Steve Bell. Um, yeah, uh, and they do Niobe Comics. If you have, if you don't know what Niobe Comics is, you do a life wrong. And Colton and Corey Sorrells. Yes, but he's they're not up north. They're no, they're in, they're in Oklahoma. Yeah, they're they're in they're in Brokeback Mountain. I mean. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so uh, and then uh, what else? Support your. This is a good one, and you probably don't agree with this. Support your local authors. Yes, yes. Actually, I, I'm good friends with an author who does uh, who does all his books, and they're based off Mobile, even though they're zombies and stuff based off Mobile. Derek Dykes, shout out to you. I know you're not watching, but dude, that's okay. He's not watching. Dude, no, no, we need to do an interview with him. He do it. He's real cool. He's really into Star Trek. This guy right here, uh, when Star Trek wasn't necessarily like super cool, uh, got all his friends together and built, uh, made, sewed costumes for everybody. Gave, made himself an admiral and gave you know captain and blah 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 and, and made everybody, uh, you know, full costumes for like Spirit Week one year. What? Yeah, I don't. I didn't get one because I wasn't like friends friends with. Do you think you'd be interested though? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd, 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 I'd get in touch with him. Sweet. Would y'all like to see something like that? There's our I one viewer. I don't care if they do or not. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah. And we could actually sit down and interview him and talk about his books and we'll give him the yeah. insight on everything he does. He, he showed, I don't know if he's going to be at MobileCon this year, but he, he's usually, he usually does the cons. If you get a chance, if you're going this year, would you do uh, a live broadcast? Yeah. Actually, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do it live or if I'm going to do, I wouldn't just tape it. Just do it. I did one last year. I just didn't post it because it didn't because it was so noisy. It didn't sound good. Now I'll go to some place where I can actually you can actually hear me. I might yell because there was other people doing it too, walking around doing it. So I was like, well, why can't I? Actually, I've got a little thing that one of those little selfie sticks. Yeah, selfie sticks that I can do it. That I can just, and people do it. I mean, there was people everywhere doing it. I was like, well, okay. so I don't feel so weird. Now that being said, Mobicon. Uh, this year, if you don't know what Mobicon is, it's Mobile's version of Dragon Con or yeah. Wizard World. And it's not big, it, it is very local, it's very it's Scott not Lake a very small there. venue. The guy from um, Walking Dead will be there. Yeah, there's two wrestlers coming. Yeah, one well, Scott Lane. Yeah, so there's... Scott is saying Lane, so yeah, he's a good dude. Rude, I'm the one viewer, she said. We, we, we know, we, we appreciate it. Well, we love we you. Gave you. We gave you shout outs. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, if I do end up going, um, if, and you're there, just stop by, say hi. You know, you'll you'll see me. Um, I don't know what I'll be wearing. I if I get if I get a, a, a package in that I ordered like a couple months ago. If I if I get that in, I'll be in in cosplay. So I'll probably have a top hat on. That's the only hat I'll give you. Um, He's gonna be a sucky dick. I mean, a succubus. I mean, hey. I suck this is the chick anyway. Oh no. No, we're not forgetting that. We we purposely we'll left that out. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure you're gonna say it now, right? Yeah, she will. She's gonna say support your local prostitutes. Yeah, probably. Hookers. Hookers. She calls everybody hookers. Yeah. So. Um th there's another one I want to remember too for support your local and and, and I mean this in all seriousness, support your local um I don't want to go about this. This your local, the people who do the, uh, no, they they're the uh, people who do, like go around like grabbing all the cats and stuff. What are they? Like dog catchers? Like well, animal like, control? No, not but but they're the nicer ones. They're the ones that I like going around trying animal to control. No, but they put your shit down. They, they put them I mean, if they can't find a place for it, yeah, they yeah, they, they, they put it down. But I mean, the ones that's no kill shelters and stuff like that. Well, I mean, there there's only one no kill shelter here in my building. The rest yeah. are all kill shelters. 
There's, I think, three in Mobile and two are kill shelters and one's not. Um, so support your local non-kill shelters. Um, and uh, neuter and spray your pets and uh, rescue. If, oh, if you want to, that's you wanna, it. They don't rescue yeah, it, dude. If if you want a pet, don't go don't go to the the damn puppy farm and, and get these puppies that, that that they farm out like that. That's horrible, man. Go and go to the local rescue. Find you a, a pretty puppy dog cat. or cat and, and bring it home and, and give that thing a home because yes. you know, it deserves a home just like just like you and me do. And I'm going to say this now. Um, we have adopted another dog. Uh oh. His name is Apollo. Yeah, she's already said it. Yeah. She beat you to it. Yeah, and he's huge. Huge. He's a Malama. Malama. He's a big dog. Malama. Malama. I think he's a. Uh, he's a big dog. He's bigger than Lucy. What y'all? What y'all gonna do with him? Dude, I have no clue. I have no he's idea. Beautiful. He is, he, 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 he he's is beautiful. He's beautiful. He's a very beautiful dog. He's been shipped. He's house trained. He's house broken. Uh, he's four years old. And, Where y'all getting him from? Um, some friends of ours. Okay. And, I'll uh, tell me that story off camera. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, some friends of ours. They're, so yeah. So they can't I, keep him where they're moving to. And so we nude and spay your pets and him. and rescue. Go to the local shelter and rescue a, a dog or a cat. Um. You can get kittens if you want kittens or puppies, but you know. What did we open? Oh God! What did we open? Seriously, dude? You're late to the game. All I'm gonna do is this right here. Throw, throw, burrito, prototype 1.1. Oh, and I got a lady death. Oh yeah, that lady death. Oh, it's sweet. Boom. There you go. That's what we opened. Read it, bro. And if you if you don't know what exploding kittens is, go check it out at uh, Target. Target or Walmart. And I opened that from the Lady Death Store. Oh, that's amazing. One twenty out of two sixty. Let me see that again, honey. We need to get Chris. Uh, Chris, we need to get Steve forty bucks. Oh no. Well, uh, well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Thank you for my comment. But yeah, so I mean, that's yeah. that's really amazing, though, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> so uh, he knows I'm going to keep it. We're, we're about to turn the camera off because Mike's about to die. <laughs> oh, oh but, uh, that, you know, I'm joking. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> she's like laugh out loud. Um. Yeah, I guess we have nothing left but the song, right? The song from a sexual favor? I, I tried. I was like, hey, you, you can... After last that. night, after seeing what he put in his mouth? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> yeah, he's not afraid of putting anything in his mouth. <laughs> I will die on camera. I will die for views. <laughs> <laughs> I will die for a comic book. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, uh, I want to sincerely thank everybody from last night and tonight for hanging out with us and actually... Pre pre Putting up and participating with us. Thank you, all you viewers. Thank you, all you fans. You we guys are amazing. We would not be here without you. Our, fa our fan base actually uh, went up a little bit, didn't it, you yeah. say? We got two new subscribers from yesterday alone. Um, now and we've gained five in the past. Now week. you see all these new comic, these new comic channels, and all these new boxing channels and stuff come up, and then bam, they've got a thousand viewers. They're like, oh, we don't know what happened. You know, we just got. Well, you know, they're good. We get it. They have better equipment, you know. But uh, we've been doing this for a while now. We've been doing this what three years? Yeah. Like three years, and the viewers that we have, we've earned, you know. And we respect and, and thank each it's and every one of you. Yeah, we really for sure. That. I mean, and you guys are. Well, without y'all, we wouldn't be here. Exactly. Four hundred and twelve strong and growing. Literally. Why does that sound like some freaking PBS thing? Our army thing. Four and twelve strong. And grow, sir. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> Hoorah. Sir. Hoorah. Poo -poo Sniper Jack. No, sorry. Yeah. Oh, man. So, let's do a thing. Let's let's do it. You weren't here last night, bro. Got to sing, sing it twice because we yeah. weren't here last night. No, no, just Are you ready? Yeah, sure. All right. No. Do. Oh. Do. No. I did. No. I, I like to hear you start. I, I understand. I get it. No. 
where's the other 307 viewers? Uh, well, you know, I mean, it's it is uh, Wednesday. What is it? Wednesday? Wednesday night at almost 10 o'clock at night. So you got to give them a little bit of a break. Most people have to work tomorrow. Yeah, like us. Like us <laughs> at five in the morning. At eight. Yeah. So. Damn, you can sleep like, three more hours than I do. You suck. Well, I, no, I had to be. I had to be up at six forty-five, seven o'clock. Oh. So I got to sleep two more hours. Dude, that that would be heaven to me. I'd be like, ah, I don't want to go to work. Uh, no, okay. This morning it was terrible. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Now, dude, no. dude, it was so good. No, you sounded. No. I mean, it was just like like angels sighing. Like, no, the only know. angels sigh is when they made Crystal Pepsi. You Midnight know, here. Where are you from, Ryan? Awesome name, by the way. Ryan is the uh, name of one of my characters that I uh, I had in, in a game called uh, in uh, Champions. Oh, he does. His name was Orion. Liar. His name was Orion. He died. He's like painfully. Anyway. Ready? Now, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. You and B, be real cool. OXI, I think you're real cool. NG, G, you're real cool. Unboxing Bros. Unboxing bros. Unboxing bros. Forever let us hold our banner high, 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 high. Come along and sing us on Joy Jeopardy. You and me, O X I N G. I show off. Stop it. But yeah, Nova Scotia is amazing, brother. We have friends nice. up there in Canada. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. <clears throat> appreciate it. All right, check us check us out. Give us a like. Uh, check subscribe. out our channel. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And hit the bell, and then you'll get not notified every time we go live. And uh, if you are on Facebook, check out uh, Unboxing Bros on Facebook. If you get on there, let us know what your name is, and we'll uh, our PM us your name, you. and we'll, uh, we'll add you. And that way you, you will know because we, we post it before we can go live. A couple hours try to anyway. Sometimes it's right. You missed last night, man. We did the Toe of Satan Challenge. <laughs> go check it out, man. If you get a chance to see that video, wow. it, it was so worth it. Wow. It's so good. Wow. It was crazy. But until next time, hopefully really, really soon, maybe this Friday or even Saturday or both. Ooh. We'll see you soon. Looking de at definitely Saturday for me. Yeah, maybe yeah. Friday. But definitely depends. Hey, if you do a thing and I do a thing, we can both do a thing. Giggity. 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 Later. Later.